Hey, what's happening, guys? This is your boy, Credit D. Well, your everyday creative dad. Welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Man, it's been a bumpy ride for the last three days. I was out sick, wasn't feeling good, and had COVID. Um, but anyway, but now we're back. So, yo, I, while I was out sick, I was thinking, like, yo, what are the three things, just three things that I wish I would have known before I started this whole producer journey? If you're new to this channel and you don't know, uh, about a, two years ago, a year and a half ago, I started uh switching over from mixing music to producing music and started this producer journey utilizing the native instruments machine and i've been us using that ever since but as i started to dive in and actually really really get to know how to produce music and make music i was just like man if i could start this over what would i use in order to create music and in this video we're going to talk about the top three things that i think that every music producer should know before diving in and what are three tools that you should invest in if you're thinking about making music or producing music so without further ado let's dive in and let's get creative all right you guys welcome back so as you can see i have the number one thing that you need that I think that every producer should uh, invest in, and it's not Fruity Loops. If you see the screen, it's not Fruity Loops, uh, but it is um, a DAW, a digital audio workstation. Obviously, you're gonna need a DAW if you're thinking about doing anything with music nowadays, because that's how you're gonna make um, all your beats, that's how you're gonna record your sounds, and that's how you're gonna sequence all your music is in your DAW. So you're gonna need a DAW. So the number one thing that you're gonna need is a DAW. And um, I pulled up a few different DAWs that I personally would recommend for producing music. Um, and these, these I, I started out putting these in a particular order that I would purchase them in, but I'm gonna just go over them and I'll tell y'all which ones I would buy if I was starting over and and starting out and was on a kind of like a budget, you know what I mean? And and I think that would be the best buy and in, in, in the best long-term investment. So number one is uh, FL Studio. If you haven't heard of FL Studio, like a lot of producers that are making trap music, that are making EDM, dance music, all that stuff are, are using Fruity Loops and they're right because Fruity Loops is powerful. This is like, like pretty much all my, my homeboys that used to make music or make music, they started off on Fruity Loops. A lot of the dope producers in the industry use Fruity Loops and it is super dope. It's a it's a DAW that um, the MIDI functions in it is amazing. Um, they, they just, everything just works. Every time I use Fruity Loops, I use Fruity Loops for a while. Every time I use Fruity Loops, everything just works perfect in it. Um, and and the biggest feature that I like about Fruity Loops is that once you buy the, the pack, once you buy it one time, buy the program one time, you get lifetime updates. This is uh, psh, that's huge. That is huge, 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 huge. I wish other companies would get on board with this. Uh, I currently use I currently use Cubase to produce music, and I gotta pay every time there's an update. Like, bro, like I'm tired of freaking paying for updates, and they come out with updates fast, and I be wanting them updates, so I pay. So, but anyway, with Fru with Fruity Loops or FL Studios, you don't have to keep upgrading and everything like that. You buy one, and you get lifetime upgrades for forever. So that's one of the biggest plus. And and then there's a it's a big community of people actually utilizing it. So you can find a lot of material on um, on uh, beat making utilizing this program. And that's why I would say this is probably the number one I would go to if I was starting over and I was trying to learn how to produce. Well, actually, it was the first program that I actually went to when I started to learn how to produce because everybody around me was using it. So I picked it up. And I think everybody and their mom has Fruity Loops. Like, everybody has FL Studio in their studio, at least a crack version or something. Everybody got Fruity Loops, you know what I mean? So... Boom. So my next recommendation for a DAW, we're still on number one, is Ableton Live. Like this is, oh, what are we doing here? Boom. All right. I don't know why they don't have the actual, uh, this is their site, but let's go to live. I want to see the actual program. Okay. Ableton Live 11, right? Uh, like a few years ago, Ableton Live wasn't really even that big, but like everybody is jumping over to it because I know they got like the push hardware and and it's just dope for making if you if you're performing live it's dope for live music i know at my church we used to use it to actually control stuff in the church with the midi function this is a powerful program i ain't gonna lie and um i ain't even lie i'm thinking about switching over to to the push and 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 ableton why because they have both the machine type block building uh uh sequencer and then they have the actual linear uh linear daw 
in which my preferred method of making music machine don't doesn't have that feature so ableton live is super dope if you're if you're if you're performing live or even if you're just making making music it has everything included um they have a free trial you can go and try it out for 90 days for free i did that and i liked it but i just didn't want to make that purchase at that time so i didn't i didn't continue with the trial but so uh same thing i think with fruity loops you can you can download the program and you can actually use the program you just can't save the beat so you, it's a free trial with both of these and i would recommend checking out ableton live if you're gonna if any of these programs if you're gonna buy any of them then I would highly recommend you go download all of them and see which one you like because at the end of the day, is it none of these DAWs are out like outperform anyone. It's all about workflow and what you prefer. And a lot of people are now are preferring Ableton Live, especially if you're doing um, live music performing and trying to integrate hardware. They got their own um, Ableton Push and all these other different um, hardware that comes that you can you can buy separate. Uh, the next one is uh, something that is rising. My homeboy, uh, uh, Loki Jimmy, over at um, his channel, Loki Jimmy, he uses Studio One. He swears by it. And I ain't even lie to you, for a while I was hating on uh, Studio One. I was just like, man, it's a knockoff version of Cubase because that's the dog that I use. But, man, like they are coming with like they are listening to their people. Studio One is easily probably, I think, within the next three to four years they might be uh, in the number one spot for a lot of people why because they're listening to their people and they are integrating really really fast like what i mean by that is that they are literally taking features and upgrading like every other month like putting features that customers are actually asking for in a DAW, and um it's super duper dope got the linear function like cubase or or uh, uh ableton live uh, it has everything like on one screen so you have your mixer down here at the bottom you got all your sounds and everything like that and it kind of this program looks exactly like cubase to me it's just a lot easier to navigate and to learn uh rather than cubase so i will have to give this my number three spot for the dot if you're thinking about buying also they have a um with uh, uh what is it with splice splice you can you can go and actually buy this program right now the full version of this program and pay like 15 dollars a month until you actually own it so it's like a rent to own but you don't have to pay any any um uh what is it any interest or anything like that you could just literally use this plugin and when you're done paying that paying it off you own this whole uh software so not plugin this whole software this doll so studio one i would say this is my number three pick right now and my number fourth pick now y'all gotta hear me out on this one right because i said a da now machine the machine plus i got the machine plus right here boom as you can see it oh let me twist you back right here the machine right <laughs> with native instruments it's it's a it's technically a groove box but you can make all of your music in it and it's very good for live performing um the price tag is 6.99 but it actually come with the hardware Right, and it comes with a whole bunch of different sounds to start off with, which is gonna be uh, might be a deciding factor for a lot of people because a lot of a lot of these um, plugins, I mean, softwares do come with stock sounds, but I think that um, <clears throat> excuse me, the machine come with a lot better uh, sounds, and the libraries can grow. Um, it's not a DAW, so you you it does have a lot of limitations. It doesn't have that linear function in order to actually make beats on a linear timeline. You got to actually get used to the the block system, or I guess you would call it, or or patterns and everything like that. You got to get used to that. Uh, I make all my music in in machine. Recently, I've been crossing over to using using my DAW that I've been using for mixing, which is Cubase. But I use pretty much everything. I make all my beats inside a machine and my homeboy Loki Jimmy he makes all his beats inside a machine export it out and then uh, arrange inside of his dot and I think that's what a lot of producers do I think uh, DDS he's a big heavy machine user but he's switching over to use, utilizing logic and a lot of people using machine and uh, Ableton Live just because they play together well so the machine um not the plus i wouldn't say if you're just starting off i wouldn't say get the plus i would say get the uh mk3 uh it's it's a lot cheaper the plus is a standalone version but the mk3 is not you have to have it plugged up to the computer that's one of the downfalls too you got to have it plugged up to the computer um if you buy this then i wouldn't recommend getting a um a uh uh, uh midi keyboard just just yet i would wait i would 
get used to this get used to the software and start making music like that and this is very good for live performing um if you're performing live then this is dope if you are a sample based producer you like to chop samples and you like to to remix music and everything like that then um machine is probably your best bet especially if you like that old uh, uh hip-hop beats and jay dilla and all that type of stuff all right so my last choice i have to mention this cubase because i've been using cubase for years Cubase is really like the OG of DAWs. It they created VSTs. It's up there with um with longevity as far as uh, uh long lasting DAW and performance. Um, it's been around for about 30, 40 years. I don't know, man. They've been around for forever. It's up there with with Pro Tools, and it does everything. Like <laughs> like I'm not saying that just because I utilize um just because I utilize uh cubase to to mix and and make music in now but like it does everything the only downfall that they're getting ready to fix is that it's not easy to jump into it's not it's not something that that i would recommend for a beginner if you are a musician and you're just looking for something that um or if you've been doing music for a long time and you're looking for something that you can actually dive into and just like like literally do everything then Cubase is probably a good program to cross over to because it has a whole lot of features, a whole, whole lot of features, professional features that I recommend that anybody should check out, especially when it comes to mixing, um, producing the core track, um, even working with people across the world. You you have a feature that you can do that with, with what it allows you to, 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 to see the other person and have them connect to their audio interface. I don't know, man. It's dope. It's super dope. But the only problem is, is that it's not, like I said, it's not easy accessible. I don't, I don't even know if they have a, a trial version. I, I do. They do right here. Download trial version so you can. But I know you have to have like a dongle in order to to um, to um run Cubase. And that's, that's, that's a headache because you can only run it on like one machine with that dongle. But they are doing away with that in, in Cubase 12. And that's why they skipped from 11. Point five, which would have been the next update and they just skipped that update now they're just going to release 12 sometime this year that's going to get rid of that dongle so you don't need to have a usb dongle to be plugged in in order to utilize the program so this is my last recommendation if you are um somebody that's been doing music for a while and you're thinking about getting into producing and you want um a, a, a software that's just a powerhouse when it comes to mixing when it comes to producing, when it comes to chord tracks and everything like that, then I recommend Cubase. Um, uh, I wouldn't recommend this for beginners though, because it's kind of tough to actually learn, and it's not. You got to know. You got to know music. You got to know how to, to navigate a DAW in order to to get the most out of Cubase. So it's not the most user user friendly. Um, so for my next recommendation, if you're just starting off, the next thing that I would recommend that you would need is some type of audio interface. Um, if you, if you don't know what an audio interface, then you probably don't even need to be doing music. But anyway, an audio interface is just a sound card in which you plug your microphone, your speakers, and all the audio that's going into your computer. You're going to need that in order to convert all that digital, uh, audio. I mean, all that analog audio or whatever into digital audio and just to play back your music and everything. Um, I would recommend getting something like uh, this right here. You can't see it. I don't know if y'all can see it. Uh, there it is right there. Mm, the focus right. I think that is the 2i2. It's a cheap audio interface for like $100. Or you can get a Personas. Um, uh, what is it? A Personas. Uh, I forget the name of it. Let's look it up real quick. Let me look it up. Personas. Especially if you're going with Studio One, I would recommend getting a uh, Personas audio interface. Is it audio box? I think it is audio box. Yeah. Yeah. So the Persona's audio box. <clears throat> right here for only $99 off of Amazon. Um, this is a dope. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Man, I'm really getting over this thing, though. So this is a dope um, audio interface and it comes with Ableton Live for only $99. So this is something that you should look into if you're thinking about uh, um, uh, producing music or making music. Go get the Personas Audio Box. And a lot of these different audio interfaces, they come with uh, different... Um, they come with different light software of uh, DAWs. I think like Focusrite comes with um, a light software of, of Cubase or something like that. But anyway, and that one comes with Ableton Live. So if you if you get that audio interface, then you can kill two birds with one stone and try out a DAW with that. And that might be all that you need. Uh, the last thing that I would say you would need is a lot of people probably going to knock me on this and be like, man, no, you might need a MIDI keyboard. 
Yes, I would recommend getting a MIDI keyboard, but if you don't know how to play keys, then a MIDI keyboard ain't gonna do you nothing. So, uh, I mean, it, it will help. You can draw in your MIDI notes and everything like that. You can utilize a MIDI keyboard, but I would recommend getting that down the line. Once you learn how to actually work your DAW and everything like that, save your money and um, and spend that money on some different sound kits. Um, and I would I would recommend going with the complete bundle with 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 Native Instruments. I love Native Instruments. They have a complete control. Uh, let's see what what's the complete bundle, the lowest one that they have. A complete bundle. Well, matter of fact, they have just like the complete now that you can spend like ten dollars and you can get a whole bunch of different sounds and stuff. But you might as well just go ahead and get a complete complete um, ultimate bundle uh, for a few extra few hundred hundred dollars. Let me see. I'm pulling it up here now. Complete. Wow. Let me see the complete bundles. <clears throat> Should have got my water over here dying. Yo, the COVID ain't no joke, bro. Da -da 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 -da. All right, let's see. Include and compare. Boom. I want to see the prices. I don't want to see all this extra stuff. All right, so what's the prices on them? They don't show the prices, do they? All right, so yeah, full full version. So complete, um, complete thirteen select one ninety nine because it's like 30, 34 gigs. But I wouldn't even spend that much. I'd spend like a hundred. Well, yeah, I probably would spend like a hundred, two hundred, and just get some kits and some sounds and everything that I like, man. And I know um, Korg Nano, something they have, they have a few sounds. My only low, low key Jimmy was telling me about that, but um, yeah. So spend that last little bit of money and get you some different sound packs. Um, I would, I would, I would mess around and get, uh, uh, somatics. They got some super dope sound packs. Uh, Decap got some dope drums, especially if you're trying to do trap music. Decap got some really, really good, good drums. Or you can go get a subscriptions to splice.com and, and that's only like $15 a month. And you can download a whole bunch of different samples and everything with that. So my three, my three recommendations that I think that you need, if you're thinking about producing music, um, is number one, you need a DAW. That's, that's no way around that. Get a DAW. Any one of the ones that I mentioned will do just fine. And they all are super dope. And it's just all about workflow. Number two is, what did I say number two was? Number two was, oh, get you a dope audio interface, a decent audio interface. And you might want to throw some headphones in there so i'm gonna throw some headphones or something like that if you if you're producing or you're around other people some headphones and some some monitors so i kind of uh upgraded my list so some decent headphones and some decent monitors and, and audio interface I, I would lump all that into one because it's all all about like listening to the sound or hearing the different sound and everything so and number three get you some sounds and some kits and subscribe to some stuff um it's not that expensive to get sounds and a lot of time man you can go to reddit and get a whole bunch of sound kits and everything but i personally like buying my stuff so i would recommend you actually purchasing it and supporting the producers that, that you're trying to be right because one day you're going to be there so i know that's like the the political answer oh man do you do, know uh, a lot of 99.9 percent .9 of the times i buy a lot of my kits and um like i just bought a kit from L eldre lo-fi kit uh 35 i spent on it and and why i probably could have found it online but i decided to support him and support what he's doing because that someday i'm gonna be on that level so i want people to support me and support what i'm doing so go out and buy you some kits and last but not least i'm gonna throw a number four up there buy yourself a small little midi keyboard um this only costs like i think a hundred dollars and it's dope i love it it controls my doll it does everything that i need to do it is the complete um control eight or the m32 the description is going to be down in the in the in the in the um in the um description you don't need this but if you if 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 you if you're getting serious and making music, then down the line you're gonna want a MIDI keyboard, and I recommend this one, the M32 from from MIDI. I mean, uh, from Native Instruments, uh, just because I love Native Instruments and Native Instruments is dope. And they've been good to me, so I'm gonna recommend their products. But that's pretty much it, man. So the three things that you need in order to produce is a DAW, uh, audio interface. Um, what was the last one sound kits and get yourself a midi keyboard and that's pretty much it so thank you guys i hope you stuck around to the end of that i hope you found some value if you did please consider hitting that like that subscribe button that notification bell so you don't miss a thing until next time be awesome be creative and don't let anybody stop you from doing what it is you want to do in life until next time deuces